Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. This is the most awaited part of the competition, the awarding of prizes. Before that though, I think we would all like to thank the Piano Teachers Guild of the Philippines for having organized this competition. This is indeed very fitting to commemorate last year's 250th birth anniversary of Ludwig van Beethoven. To the parents and to the mentors, we salute you for encouraging and inspiring these young artists to love and respect classical music. To the participants, our gratitude for the pleasure of allowing us to listen to your music, a beautiful reflection of your souls. We saw the great amount of understanding you have in the complex music of Beethoven. Your performances certainly made it difficult for me and my co-jurors, Professor Maria Aima Labramak and Dr. Ross Salvosa to come up with our final decision. To the winners whose names I shall be announcing shortly, our heartfelt congratulations. To the ones whose names will not be called this time, keep your heads up high. Life is not only about winning, it is a constant learning, pursuing your passion with discipline, dedication and focus, and striving to be your best is what matters most. Hello, uh, dearest PTGP babies. Um, I know I was once a PTGP baby myself. Um, I would like to first and foremost thank uh, Miss Carolyn Chen for um, inviting me to be part of the jury of this competition. And I am very and deeply honored um, to be one of the judges for this year's Beethoven competition. And I must say that I'm very, very impressed with everyone's performances. And I am very proud to be a Filipino. And I am so proud of how far our music community has come and how our Piano Teachers Guild of the Philippines have come together um, to make such wonderful events and opportunities for for everyone, uh, for each and every one of you uh, BTGP babies. Um, if there is a message that I want to uh, share or um, impart is the importance of awareness. Slow practice. <laughs> I know, you probably heard that a lot from your teachers. Um, slow practice, practice slow, but we often wonder why. Why do we need to practice slow? And the key word there, the secret there is awareness. When we're practicing slow, we become more aware of every single little movement, every single little sound, every touch, every interval. We get more aware about how each note connects with each other. Suddenly you realize, oh, that was just an F major second inversion chord. Oh, oh, that's a dominant seven chord. This little awareness sometimes might seem trivial, but a combination of all those little awarenesses forms greater insight. Just like our bodies, we are composed of trillions of cells that knows how to be cells, that knows its function, and just knows what it needs to do. Same thing with music, those little awarenesses that we get when we're practicing slow forms a valuable insight. And so the importance of slow practice to build more insight. And then when you have those insight, then Beethoven speaks to you, right? Or Mozart speaks to you. And then the music itself teaches you how it needs to be played. Instead of trying to coerce the music to fit us, it's letting the music teach us how it needs to be played. And so with that, 
I congratulate you all. You are all already winners uh, in my books. And you all played with all your heart. And keep up the great work. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. I am Anna Maria Labramak, and I'm sending my greetings from Austria, Europe. I am so grateful, so grateful to PTGP for setting up this Beethoven piano competition for young pianists and for inviting me to be one of the judges. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to hear many promising young pianists. And it was a great honor to be able to work together with my fine jury colleagues, Abel Galang and Rosa Walsa. My special thanks goes to Carolyn Chang and Jonathan Gutierrez for their smooth organization of this competition. I would like to thank also the teachers of these young students. Thank you for your dedication to your profession. Thank you for mentoring, inspiring, motivating and encouraging your young students. And most especially, thank you for being very patient with them. Thank you also to the parents. Thank you for your moral support and guidance for your talented children. And now to you, dear contestants. At first, I want to share with you what Beethoven once said. He said, there is nothing more beautiful than distributing happiness to people. Thank you, dear contestants, for your fine performances. With your playing, you just distributed happiness and there is nothing more beautiful than that. I congratulate and salute all of you. Of course, not everybody can win a prize, but it is not all about winning. The moment you have decided to join this competition, you already won. Each and every one of you have already won. Your decision is a proof that you are determined to grow musically and to improve your pianistic qualities. This is a proof for your love of music and music makes us human. Music is a universal language. With it, we could communicate without the use of words. And in doing so, this brings us all together. Well, one, of course, cannot be a super pianist just at the click of a finger. It is a lifelong learning experience. It is a continuing discovery of something new and a rediscovery of something already learned. It is also a never ending road to improvement. It should be a never ending road to improvement. It requires a lot of dedication, patience, perspiration, but in the end, the reward is high. So my dear contestants, congratulations once again. Keep up the good work. Keep the fire going, and I hope to see, or better still, to hear you once again sometime in the future. Good night. Now here are the winners. For category A1, the jury awarded the first prize to John Elijah Bendicion. For the second prize, we have Ella Gabriele Gao. For the third prize, we have Shona Yin and an honorable mention to Julia Lorene Passis. For the best in contest piece, we have Ella Gabriele Gao. We also have a special jury award and this goes to John Elijah Bendithion. 
for category A2. The first prize is awarded to Caitlin Stephanie Yu. For the second prize, we have Angel Maid Sai. The third prize is awarded to William Matthew Lim. The honorable mention to Kaylee Claire So. The Best in Contest piece is awarded to Christian Brandon Garcia. For category B1, the first prize winner is Aiden Ezra Baracco. For the second prize, we have Zion Montabon. The third prize winner is Catherine Lee. And the honorable mention award goes to Antonio Zausta. For the special jury award, this would go to Aiden Ezra Baracco. We now come to the final group, which is category C. The jury decided not to award the first prize and the best in contest piece. So now for the second prize, this is awarded to Michael Angelo Valencia. The jury awarded two winners for the third prize. They are Denzel Abarquez and Jason Matthew Tung. The honorable mention goes to John Paul Mendoza. So again, in behalf of the PTGP and my co-jurors, Professor Maria Aima Labramak and Dr. Ross Salvosa, congratulations to all the winners and to all the contestants. Mabuhay. Thank you.